Hey everyone, uh, really good feedback from the post I put up yesterday about processed foods. Uh, I got a couple of comments on it, so I'd reply to a few of them individually. Um, but there's one here that I actually didn't get a chance to reply to, so I said I'd make a video about it. Uh, basically asking about, um, the post I put up yesterday talks about processed foods um, and how when you take foods that are processed, that they take the nutrients out of the food and replace it with things like additives and preservatives that make it last longer so that that goes into your body and how when your body actually pulls and starts to digest it, um, those toxins, because effectively preservatives and things are toxins to the body, they get stored into fat stores because they have to keep them away from vital organs and keep your body safe. That's the primary job of your body. It's the same thing with trans fats. You know, if anyone's downloaded my free ebook, I've talked about how your body uses trans fats um, and processed foods is similar where they, because your body doesn't recognize what the additives and preservatives are, and it doesn't recognize what say trans fats are, it shuttles it into fat stores where it's away from vital organs, so it keeps you alive, basically. Um, so the question was, uh, what about protein powders and the likes of Walden Farms, uh, P2B, um, just wondering your thoughts on them. So basically, um, it's a catch-22 with supplements. Um, I use supplements that use preservatives and sweeteners, um, even though I know myself what they do to your body, that it's, they're not ideal in terms of what they do to your body. Um, I, it's, it's why Amex, the isoprime is one of my favorite, because at least it's sweetened with stevia. And I talked about in the artificial video that I did last week, how I use stevia as my sweetener. Um, is, you know, at the 100% natural stevia, so that you're not using like maltodextrin or one of those shitty preservatives that your body is, um, has to again figure out what it is before it'll even break it down. Um, things like Walden Farms, um, they're absolutely gack. They're shit. Um, I'm, I've used them, don't get me wrong. I've used them and I use them in contest prep because they're low calorie foods. Um, but there's so much preservatives and additives added to those things. The reality is they're zero calorie with an amazing taste. Some of them have an amazing taste. That kind of gives you your, your, your idea straight away because that taste has to come from somewhere. It's coming from artificial sweeteners. It's coming from uh, preservatives that's added in there. So all of those things are going to have a negative effect on your body. You know, the same way as anything with those preservatives and additives that are added into your meats, the same process applies whether you get it from a meat source, you know, from your veg in the supermarket or from your protein powders or your walled and farms. They're still processed foods that your body doesn't understand. Um, our bodies, if you think about it logically, over the last... 100 years, we less last 50 years, we've started developing these processed foods, artificial flavorings to go into them, preservatives to make them last longer. Your, our body have been around for thousands of years. You know, they haven't learned to adapt to these changes and your body doesn't understand what these things are. You know, we've done more changing in food and the processing in the last 40 years than we had in the previous 40,000, you know, because of all the additives and preservatives and stuff that get added. So. Your body doesn't understand what those things are. So what happens is as soon as you take them, your body panics and shuttles it into the fat stores in the body because they're toxins that needs to keep your body safe. That's its priority job number one. So if you think about it logically, if you're trying to get leaner or lose body fat or build muscle and you're putting something into your body that it doesn't understand how to use it, it's going to shuttle it straight into a fat store to keep it safe. Again, I'm not saying don't use Walden Farms. I'm not saying cut all your supplements. I'm not saying don't get broccoli that's not organic, but I'm just making you aware of what can happen to your body when you consume these foods. You know, when you consume highly processed foods. You know, the reality is, if you're going from, you know, uh, Saturday night, you have those cooked dinners that go in the microwave, they're the most highly processed things of all because they've literally have put them on a shelf that they can stay there for the next three years um, because of the preservatives that have been added to them. You're putting that preservative into your body. You're eating it and it's going into your body. Now it's going into that process where your body's like, hold on a fucking minute, what's this? And it's going to shut it straight into those fat stores um, and then you're going to have that stubborn fat around your stomach or wherever it is your stubborn areas are and you're not going to be able to tap into it until you get into a massive deficit and then you've got your training program and your nutritional plan and you're literally, if you're eating processed foods and you're training hard and even dieting hard in a calorie deficit to a degree, it's literally like pulling from two sides. You're pulling from one side with the processed food because your body's like into fat stores, into fat stores, and you're pulling from this side with your training program, you know, and your calorie deficit and your nutrition. So you might be losing weight, but your body composition isn't changing. You're not, your shape isn't changing because you're pulling from two sides, you know. So that's kind of, it's more to give you the information on how and, and 
an expansion on what's happening so that you can make the choice yourself. Um, I personally would try and line up all the dominoes, you know, and then knock them all over. That's generally why my clients tend to respond very, very quickly. Um, and people that follow my programs and plans tend to respond very, very quickly because I tend to line up all the dominoes. Um, I actually have something coming out next week, um, so stay tuned on the video because I've actually created a, if you haven't downloaded my free ebook, I'm gonna put the link down below, um, the top 10 ways to lose body fat and build muscle or tone up at the same time. Um, I've designed a program and a nutrition plan for this book. You know, it's literally tied in based on the principles and programs of this. Um, so there's going to be more about that next week. So stay tuned for that. Um, it's taken me about three months to design. So uh, the launch of the ebook was about like four months ago. Um, and it's had, you know, well over a thousand downloads. Um, so I've designed a program and a plan to go with that ebook just in time for summer. So people that are going away in August or going away at the end of July, that you literally have you know, your next six weeks covered. So that's going to be available from next week, but I'm going to talk more about that next week. Um, if you haven't downloaded that free ebook, I talk more about the ideas of the trans fats and processed foods in there um, and this new program that I'll be launching next week. Um, it's, it's going to be capped on the amount of people I take in for it, but I'm going to be talking more about these uh, principles and things like that. So it'll expand and all of that. Um, so hope this video helps. Please like and share the page um, and I'll be coming at you next week with more information.